Welcome to another episode of 5 Minutes with Cyril. And today I want to briefly explain how you can prepare for a presentation. So assume you already have slides prepared, you have a good storyline and you have set up everything and you're basically ready to go, but you want to rehearse your presentation. What are tricks that you can do in order to get better in presenting by doing a good rehearsal? And that's what I want to talk about here today. So what are key things that you need to do? So I assume you have a great storyline, you know what you want to say, you have beautiful slides, you know the time frame, everything is set. But now, how do I prepare for myself in order to give a good talk? And there are a couple of tricks that you can do. The first recommendation I would give is do not learn your whole talk word by word. This will sound extremely boring if you give your presentation. People who do this for the first time who are very nervous, they tend to learn what they want to say word by word. But this is typically not a great, a great approach because you will not present in a very engaging way. You will look bored if you are there on that stage. So I would recommend not to do this. What however is a really great trick, and that's something that I learned from my own supervisor Wolfram Burgert, was to learn the first sentence for every slide word by word. Why is this a good idea? This is a good idea because you know whenever a new slide starts, I know what to do. So you know the first sentence, the first sentence to be not that long, you know it by heart, and then your brain is kind of in a mode that it knows what comes next. And you can spell that out. The other great thing about this is once you lose track and once you screw it up, you say just, I don't care, advance to the next slide and you have your sentence and you start from scratch. It's just maybe a few seconds of awkwardness if you're there, but then you just continue with your presentation. And you know what to do, you know the first sentence to say and everything flows very easily. So this is something that I would really encourage you to do. If you don't know how to present and you're scared, just learn the first sentence for every slide. It works really, really well from my point of view. The second thing, and this was a tool that I used in order to, um, let's say, make the biggest steps in terms of improvements of my speaking capabilities, was to videotape myself. So take your mobile phone or video camera and videotape your presentations and try to give an as realistic as possible presentation. And when you do this, this will suck for the first times. So you say, oh my God, I'm giving so bad presentations. So don't be too harsh to you. See what works well, what doesn't work well by listening to yourself, which can be very annoying, um, but rehearse this and see how you get better and better and better by talking to the camera. And it will dramatically boost your performance in giving presentations once you videotape yourself. You can analyze what is done good, what is done bad. You have a precise timing. How long does every slide approximately take me if you need to readjust something? Um, that's a really, really good tool. And I would really recommend to do this. As a backup, if you really don't want to record yourself, you can talk in front of a mirror. At least you see the other person. You need to look to the other person's eyes, to your own eyes. Um, that's also something how I started with this when I was learning and preparing for my first presentations. It also makes sure you look to the audience later on. If you're used to looking to the mirror or to your camera, you will not look to the slides and to the presenter and see that something weird is, um, is there on your slide and you turn your back to the audience, something that you want to avoid at all costs. So really do this. So once you have prepared for that, the next thing before you, for example, give your talk as a conference is to do a test talk in the lab. So grab your um, PhD student peers and give your presentation in front of them and ask them to ask hard questions. This can be very hard for yourself, getting really critical questions, but you always have to say for yourself, better I get those questions in a friendly environment from my peers rather than somewhere in the audience in front of uh, 200, 300 people at a conference. So therefore, rehearse your talks, give test talks. It will make you much more confident and will substantially improve your presentation. You will also realize where do people have problems to understand something? Even if you know everything and you don't realize it in a video a recording, it's much better for others to give you feedback if, you have, if they have seen your presentation. In terms of timing, most of your talks come with a very fixed time frame, whatever, 17 minutes presentation, three minutes Q&A or something like this, really stick to that time. Make sure when you rehearse, you're on the spot, especially if you are in, if you are in the early period of your presentation career, let's say it this way, I would really time it precisely to this point in time. Why? Typically when you give your presentation, you're anyway 5% faster, so you will have some extra 20, 30 seconds in the end, which is totally fine. 
but don't uh, finish whatever five minutes earlier or don't go over time. Going over time is always really, really bad and not well seen and can actually be a killing argument for job interview talk if people see that you can't uh, time your presentations really well. And then the only thing I can recommend is repeat, rehearse over and over again. For my first presentations, I for sure had 10, 15, maybe 20 trials until I was happy with my first presentation. Of course, the older you grow, the more presentations you give, the less training you need, but especially in your first years, you will need a lot of training and really invest it. It's time well invested because it will make you more confident, you will be a better presenter, you will be able to better ship your ideas so that in the end, you will be more successful. I hope that was useful. Thank you very much for your attention.